Tollens reagent is a chemical reagent used to determine the presence of aldehyde, aromatic aldehyde, and alpha hydroxy ketone functional groups. The reagent consists of a solution of silver nitrate and ammonia. It was named after its discoverer, the German chemist Bernhard Tollens. Tollens reagent can be used to distinguish ketone and aldehyde. Tollens reagent gives a negative test for most ketones, with alpha hydroxy ketones being one exception. That means in case of aldehyde and alpha hydroxy ketones, this Tollens reagent will give a positive test. Now see if you take an aldehyde and add some Tollens reagent, then you will get a carboxylic acid and a silver mineral by which you can determine that this substance is giving a positive test. You can see this silver mirror. Preparation of Tollens reagent First, a few drops of dilute sodium hydroxide are added to some aqueous silver nitrate. The OH, that means the hydroxyl ions, convert the silver aqua complex from into silver oxide Ag2O which precipitate from the solution as a brown solid that means you have the silver nitrate and you are adding some sodium hydroxide then you will get this silver oxide which will just be precipitate from the solution in the next step sufficient aqueous ammonia is added to dissolve the brown silver oxide the resulting solution contains the silver amine complex AgNH3 2 plus in the mixture, which is the main component of Tollens reagent. Sodium hydroxide is reformed. So at first stage, this one is occurring, this reaction, and in the next stage, when you are adding much more ammonia, ammonia is reacting with this silver oxide, and there is a silver amine complex. This complex is being formed. Alternatively, aqueous ammonia can be added directly to silver nitrate solution. At first, ammonia will induce formation of solid silver oxide. But with additional ammonia, this solid precipitate dissolves to give a clear solution of diamine silver complex. Filtering the reagent before use helps to prevent false positive results. In a positive test, the diamine silver complex oxidizes the aldehyde to a carboxylate ion and in the process is reduced to elemental silver and aqueous ammonia. The elemental silver precipitates out of the solution occasionally onto the inner surface of the reaction vessel, giving a characteristic silver mirror. And this is the oxidation process of alpha hydroxy ketones. You are taking alpha hydroxy ketone, the basic medium, so you are getting in diol intermediate, and this is converting into aldehyde or an aldose. And then this silver amine complex is coming to this aldehyde and this carboxylic acid salt is being prepared and you are getting a silver mirror by which you can confirm the pre presence of this aldehyde or alpha hydroxy ketones group. Tollens reagent can also be used to test for terminal alkynes. A white precipitate of the acetylide is formed in this case. Okay, in case of terminal alkyne, if this is present in your reaction mixture, then it can give some false test. Let me show you terminal alkyne means this one R, C, triple bond, C, H. If the Tollens, react, uh, Tollens reagent reacts with this, then it will, this will form 
this will form this one R C triple bond C A G silver acid light and you will get in case of this you will get a false test reducing and non reducing sugars sugars that give positive tests with tolens or benedict solution are known as reducing sugars and all carbo carbohydrates that contain a hemiacetal group give positive test in aqueous solution the hemiacetal form of sugars exist in equilibrium with relatively small but not insignificant concentrations of non cyclic aldehydes or alpha hydroxy ketones these two undergo the oxidation perturbing the equilibrium to produce more aldehyde or alpha hydroxy ketone which then undergoes oxidation until one reactant is exhausted this is the structure of reducing sugar where one group will be oh another is or that means this is the hemiacetal form this one is oh and this one is the or linkage and in case of acetal form this is the cyclic structure this one is the complete cycle so this is the or connectivity and this one is also or that's why this is the acetal form which is non reducing sugar carbohydrates that contain only acetal groups give negative test with benedict's or tollens solution and they are called non reducing sugars as acetals do not exist in equilibrium with aldehydes or alpha hydroxy ketones in the basic media of the test reagents so this is the example of some reducing sugar and non reducing sugar beta d glucopyranose and beta d fructopyranose are the examples of reducing sugar because you can see just if you look this carbon this is attached with one oh and another or group so this is a hemiacetal form similarly this carbon is also a hemiacetal oh where is it this carbon no actually not this one actually it should be sorry mm -hmm this one this one is the hemiacetal linkage where this carbon is attached with one oh and another one or and in case of methyl beta d glucopyranoside or ethyl alpha d fructofuranoside these two are non reducing sugar because this is also or this is also or so this is the acetal form and here also this is the acetal form in case of this carbon this carbon is attached with this or and another one is attached with this or